My name is Mary. And Dom Ian, are you tracking your progress? I'm sure you are. This week we'll be discussing correct walking form. The what? That's correct posture. Before we explore how we walk, I think it's important we stop for a moment and think about why it's important that we walk. Let's explore that. Why is it so important that we walk? Our bodies are meant to move, not be static. Our lifestyles have changed and our society is becoming much more sedentary. Activity is the only way that there is sufficient blood flow through the body, not just to keep the muscles, tendons, joints, and nerves healthy, but also to make sure that the enzymes that flow through the blood reach the correct places. Recent studies have shown that people who sit more have a higher incidence of high cholesterol and diabetes. So walking is important not just for musculoskeletal health, but also for systemic health. Besides, it can be a great social activity and makes you feel great and look good. Now can you tell us what the correct walking form is? Once you start walking, you want to do similar, think tall. Okay, as you think tall, your spinal curves fall into position. You have your low back is curved slightly inward, and your upper back is curved slightly outward. Your neck is curved slightly inward. Your chest is open, but not because of a muscle contraction, simply because of elongating yourself towards the ceiling. Chest opens, the chin tucks slightly in. Breathe out, blow out, so you get a sense of your abdominals tightening. Okay? So that's the kind of engagement you need in your abdominals to walk. Tighten your buttock muscles slightly. Your arms are at waist level. Anything above 90 degrees is going to put a little more strain on your nerves at the elbow. So you want to keep your elbows slightly open, um, kind of um, relaxed at your waist. And when you take a step forward, you step forward and try and hit your heel first. Okay. If you hit your heel first, you're going to go through the movement and then you're going to have a push off. See my back leg is pushing off. Keep your stride length small because if you go into big stride lengths, it actually makes it a little more ine inefficient and also you tend to lock your knee. Okay, and that's too much impact on your knee. So walking fast is not necessarily um, um, a reflection of your stride length, it's actually a reflection of how efficient you are. And when you're efficient when your body is aligned um, and, and balanced. You know, so when you think tall, you engage your abdominals, you engage your buttock muscles, use your hips to walk rather than your upper body and your neck muscles, and you know, you'll automatically um, reduce your stride length when you do that, but it'll be more efficient walking and perhaps even faster walking than if you take a longer stride length. Uh, the main thing basically for walking form is to keep your body upright, stay tall, chest up, relax those shoulders, make sure you got a good pair of running shoes, just stay relaxed, stay calm, focus ahead, not side to side. Be aware of your posture. Gradually build up tolerance to walking. Do not overdo it. Be sure to stretch and use strength exercises to facilitate correct walking form. It's difficult to maintain correct posture and walking pattern if your muscles are weak. Go to www.lodge-rhd.org, hit the Step It Up tab, and click on Step It Up Members. If you haven't done so already, you will be asked to register with Rendezvous, where Step It Up has its own interactive group. Here you can download handouts, get the latest information and view the weekly videos. This week's handout is Walk in Form, which gives you information on how to walk effectively and in a way that supports your body. Today we'll be increasing the number of daily steps with 700 to 5400. And you are invited to write down your progress in your journal. This will largely determine how successful you will be. And now, the tip of the week. Walk wherever you need to go and take the longest route there. There you have it.